Well, Kukwe Asante is my colleague reporting there from the Alisa Hotel where there has been this engagement with the Electoral Commission. But from here in Accra, let's cross over to the northern region where police say they have arrested three men they believe are members of an armed robbery and kidnapping syndicate operating there. The three were picked up in separate hotels. Now, at a news conference, Regional Police Commander COP Timothy Yosabonga Intelligence uh, said that intelligence had revealed that the three had planned to launch armed robbery attacks and kidnappings in several communities in the region. It was gathered that the suspects were lodging in separate hotels, including Akman Hotel and Last Hotel in Tamale, in preparation to move to Salga, Makango, Bimbala, and Willensee areas to attack and kidnap people for ransoms. Personnel of the Northern Regional CID raided the two hotels on 13th May 2021 at about 7.11 a.m. and arrested three suspects. A search conducted on the suspects revealed the following items. Mohammed Umar had in his possession a machete, one mobile phone, and cash of 1,500 Ghana cities. Yusuf Mohammed had in his possession three mobile phones, cash of 1,800, and a mobile money of 5,239 cities on his Momo wallet. Sanda Mohammed, on the other hand, had in his possession three mobile phones and cash of 2,561. Suspects could not explain circumstances under which such monies were obtained. They also refused to lead police to their places of abode for further investigations. Well, let's take you live now to Tamale and speak to uh, regional correspondent Martina Bugri, who attended that news conference by the police. Uh, Martina, now, why are the police so convinced uh, that these uh, three men, uh, Mohammed, Sanda and Yusuf, were in the region to launch attacks? Um, they said um, they have intelligence that these three are part of that syndicate, and so they've been monitoring them and then um, following their uh, um, movement and so for the, some time now they've been going through surveillance you know mm. checking where they are what they are doing and so at this time and um, they knew that this was what they were planning to do and that's how come they visited those hotels and raided the place and picked their three they said there were other um, people in the hotel but they specifically moved in for these individuals because they had information that was close on them, and that's why they were picked. Now, they are saying that um, they believe, um, haven't gone through some investigations also. Um, evidence they are eliciting tells them that these three are definitely part of the group. Okay, so I know there's been an appeal of sorts to residents. What, what's been the response so far? Well, um, they are saying that these um, crimes were done with their faces covered. And so it would be difficult, but they are expecting people to um, look at some other physical um, features of these people and come out with information. And so what they are doing now is um, linking with other regional commands so that they will spread the information and get people to come in. But as we speak now, people have not started giving in information yet, but they are very confident that with their information travel wide, far and wide, they would have people come in and possibly some people might identify these people. Well, Martina, uh, thank you for bringing us the latest as far as that development is concerned.